It's Week Wednesday, and here we have guest chef Sebastian, who's got lamb on the menu. How are you, Sebastian? Very good. Thank you for having me. Um, now, I'll tell you what, you are now at the so uh, Sofitel. Yeah. And you used to work with Mark at the French Cafe. <laughs> That's right. And you survived. Years ago. <laughs> and what yeah. would you like to work with? Oh, he's an easy chap. He's yeah. an easy chap. Well, things have changed. <laughs> 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 okay, so what are we going to be making today, boys? Um, we're going to cook a beautiful lamb steak with some spiced bulgur wheat salad. Uh, we got some charred green beans um, and some tzatziki. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, it's going to be nice, isn't it? Absolutely I'll be cooking, brilliant. No doubt. <laughs> 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 hey, well, it's great to have you here. We love a Whoop Wednesday, and we'll tell you more about how you can get your Whoop soon. Yeah. And it's great to have you with us in the Cafe Kitchen for another Whoop Wednesday. And this week, we're making guest Chef Sebastian Hendrix tzatziki lamb steaks on citrus spiced bulgur and charred green beans, which is one of the meals in this week's Whoop Foodie Box. I love Whoop, and if you want to get it, all you need to do, you'll get this pretty much done for you on Sunday, but we're going to make it from scratch. Sebastian, great to have you with us. Thanks for having me. I've got a question for you, though. What's bulgur? Because it sounds like something I order when I've been out at night and I get to the <laughs> burger bar. I'll have one <laughs> chicken bulgur, thanks. Um, um, what's bulgur? Bulgur is a wheat um, what mainly gets used in the Middle Eastern uh, kitchen. Um, but even, even so, you use it in the Mediterranean kitchen. Um, it's a very universal Universal V. Yeah, yeah, it's got a bit more texture than their couscous. But right. you know, if you've got a recipe with couscous, you can substitute it for bulgur or vice versa. You know, yeah. it's good. It's good to mix up all your grains. Nice and healthy work. as well. And healthy. We Very like that. Healthy. And lamb. You're using lamb. You're in the right place <laughs> to be using lamb, aren't you? Okay. Yeah, we so love lamb. Should we just get cooking? Mark right. can do most of the work. Right. Mate. We'll just sit yeah. back, relax. <laughs> yeah, we show that he does it properly. Yeah, no, oh, true. You pressure's, keep it pressure's on now. It's just like, <laughs> well, two high caliber chefs, a high caliber eater. What could go wrong? Okay. <laughs> yeah, what could go wrong? Right. So we're going to cook the bulgur wheat now. So I've got a little bit of water in there and we're just going to flavour the water with some cinnamon, star anise, put the bulgur wheat in. So this is all measured out if you're going to do it. And it's, uh, we're going to cook it so it cooks the grain and it's going to absorb all that water. So you can put some flavours in there as well if you want as well, can't you? Yeah, well, yeah. we've got the spices, but you can put anything you want in there. So we're going to bring it up to the boil, turn it down and simmer it for about 10 minutes and then it will just absorb and it will just puff up and it will be nice and uh, nice and nice and textured in Ooh. the salad. Oh, nice. Okay, what, what do you like about this recipe? Because clearly you've decided to do it for Whoop. So what, why did you decide to put this one in the Whoop foodie box this week? Um, I, I, when, I, when they asked me to do a recipe for Whoop, um, I, I thought about what I would like to eat on my days off, oh, something yeah. what goes quick, something what's healthy. Um, so I decided for this bulgur wheat is something not so usual, what mm. people, not everybody uh, is, is, uh, knows how to use it. So um, it's something different. Um, right. Yeah, so... And, and I like the fact you've thought of that, because you're right, I haven't heard of bulgur before, and not many people know how to utilise it. You've made it easy, whoop, make it easy, and we are going to be tasting it very soon. Is he doing an all right <laughs> job? What are you doing now? Yeah. Right, so I'm, gonna, I'm starting to get all the ingredients ready for a salad. Right. So, so we've got the bulgur wheat there, but we're going to add some textures and flavours and spices into this. So yep. I've just got some uh, dried apricots in there. Yes. We've got some um, almonds, which have just been lightly toasted. That goes in there as well. Nice. And then we've got some red capsicum. OK. So remember... Um, a couple of weeks ago, we roasted this on the um, stove. If you want to do this at home, just roast it over the gas. Oh, actually, right. you weren't here, were you? No. No, but it would have been a perfect job for you. Because <laughs> you literally just have to something. burn it. Yeah, no, yeah. no, Can no. I have to put up? Was he like that at the French <laughs> cafe when you work with him? Uh, yeah. But, yeah. Maybe, but, yeah. but that's what we chefs do. We always, we always um, um, try have, to... Have to a laugh. Have a laugh. No, yeah. good. But good. if you don't want to do that, and in the whoop box, you've got it already done. So you've got these peppers. So they're just... The, the charred, so you get this extra flavour, and they just sort of started to sort of soften and cook slightly. So just chop them up. They go in there as well. And then we're just going to make a little quick dressing as well, just to dress our bulgur wheat. Nice. Well, so a nice little sort of citrus spice dressing, which I'm going to make now. I so, don't know, because Sebastian uh, and I, we're just hanging, watching yeah. you work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he does all right so far. He does all right. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> this is how Whoop works. So, <laughs> Somebody else does all the work for you. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect, isn't it? <laughs> right, so orange juice, lemon juice. I've uh, got some cumin in there, a little bit of sugar some salt and then give that a good whisk around yep. and then a little bit of oil in there so that just makes you sort of like a, a citrusy spiced uh, dressing 
and then that's going to be put over the bulgur wheat when the bulgur wheat's cooked and I'll show you how to finish that a little bit later. That smells incredible that dressing from here and is this bulgur uh, ready is it you reckon? A yeah. little, so a what you got to do? Longer. So I uh, just a little bit longer? Yeah yeah. Okay cool. Give it a couple more minutes and it'll be ready and I'll show you the next stage. Probably be ready when we come back and we are making a beautiful lamb dish and the great thing is with Whoop is that they use different guest chefs and Sebastian is our guest chef for this Whoop Wednesday um, and a beautiful lamb dish we've got our bulgur Ready to go. Now what are we going to do, Sebastian? Mark is just grating some cucumber for nice. our tzatziki. Um, what's literally, literally is only cucumber, some crushed garlic. We got some uh, yogurt, some salt and some mint. Oh, yum. Yeah. Beautiful. It just brings the, the whole dish, brings a, a really nice kick. Um, and what? I'm just going to season the lamb steaks. Yes, I'm important gonna... to season. Yep. Yeah, very important. Always sorry. Um, for our chefs, it's always season, season, season. Um, don't be shy on salt. Um, and make sure you, you, you try everything. This is what um, it's like at the French cafe. Yeah. Every day, season, season, season. <laughs> and that beautiful accent as well. Season, <laughs> season. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I put a little bit of oil in the pan. Yes. Um, and then I will cook those lamb steaks. Um, depends how you would like to um, eat them. What do you? What would you prefer if, if you you know didn't give people the option in the restaurant? <laughs> I always cook my lamb medium rare. Medium rare. There you yeah. go. Okay. Um, and then for medium rare, you cook those steaks three minutes, three and a half minutes on each side, and they're perfectly pink in the middle. And let it rest as well. Yeah. Let it rest. Season, rest. season, season. And let it rest. I'm learning lots here this It'd be like a rap song, couldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> be a chef song. <laughs> you ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Yeah. That's all right, Sebastian. You don't have to sing. Um, this is what I love about Whoop, though, because, you know, getting the right produce is important as well. So they go to the farmer's markets, they use fresh produce. You've got beautiful cuts of meat that they have sourced from various farmers around the country. Uh, yeah. So that's what makes it taste even better when you're finished, isn't it? Oh, it's so true, yeah. yeah nice. My yeah. neighbours see me with my Whoop box. And... Uh, She's now, she's a Whoop convert. She's getting Whoop <laughs> delivered to her door every Sunday. Actually, you can win a Whoop box. I'll tell you very soon how you can do that. What are we doing now? Mint? Right, so we've uh, just crushed the garlic. I've got some mint, so we're going to chop that. We've got the yoghurt in there, a little yep. bit of seasoning. And we just season the cucumber just lightly with salt and put it in a colander just to drain off the excess um, liquid because the cucumber is like, made up of lots of water. Nice. So you're not diluting your, um, your yoghurt okay. and your sauce. That will get us in there. Nice. How's the steaks go? How are Perfect. Go? We, go? Just, we don't do back. anything. It's okay. still another um, one minute to go on, on this side. So he's a real chef, isn't he? Yeah, he, he, is. he can resist the urge to <laughs> shake the pan. <laughs> well, while we're doing that, what about the green beans? What are we doing with them? Right, we're just going to prep them. Yeah. OK, cool. Right, there's some green beans. Oh, and then I'm going to chop yum. some parsley as well for the bulgur wheat. So you can see the bulgur wheat now. Yes. So it's been about 10 minutes. It's just soaked up all that liquid. Yep. Um, and then that's pretty much ready. So you can give that a little bit of a stir. You can pop it into our bowl with all the rest of the ingredients. Oh, I have to do something now. Well, yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> It'd be <Okay>. nice. <laughs> Oops. And okay. Then Ooh, we'll yum. chop a bit of parsley. Yes. And then we're going to put a little bit of dressing in there, put the bulgur wheat in there, and that is our salad ready to go. So full of flavour, texture. Mm. Lamb's cooking. Beans are there ready to cook. Tzatziki's made. Look at that. Brilliant. And Everything's everything's ahead yeah. of schedule. Well, we like that, Mark <laughs> and Sebastian. Thank you so much for this recipe. And uh, I tell you what, we're going to see the finished product towards the end of the show. But right now, I can show you a picture of what yours is going to look like when you get your Whoop box at home. And if you'd like to order your Whoop foodie box and get everything to make this delish without all the preparation, it's like having these two chefs in your kitchen, really. <laughs> Just head along to whoop.co.nz. And as I said, we have a chance for you to win a Whoop foodie box on our Facebook page right now to so get entry. Now it's over to Mark and Sebastian to see how the lamb has come together, uh, which you can have delivered this Sunday morning if you head along to Whoop. .co.nz. How's it looking, boys? Oh, beautiful. So the lamb's been resting. Seb's just slicing it now. Bit of the tzatziki on the plate. We've got the beans, which are just nicely roasted, so you can see the colour on those. Lamb goes on. Beans on top. Look at that. Yum. Just like beautiful. the picture. A little bit mint at the end. Beautiful. Awesome. Now that is a classy meal. Look at that. So easy. Yum. Well done, Sebastian. Thank you, Mark.